Honestly, for a long time, I didn't actually have much of a comfort zone to speak of when it came to my drawing. And sometimes just pushing yourself to draw can feel really intimidating. I know I haven't been posting a lot lately, and so I try to think of what makes me push through times when I feel like I'm just struggling to make any sort of progress with my art, and I thought I'd like to share my thoughts with you. So yeah, hey, I'm Fairdrop, and thank you for joining me for this little moment of self-reflection, I guess. Because as someone who has been drawing for a long time, I'd like to believe that I have worked up a couple of methods to help myself get through slumps and how to push myself beyond my own comfort zone. So truth be told, I actually ended up struggling quite a lot with this image. The thing is, I'm fairly confident with how the characters turned out, but the colors were just very hard for me to figure out. I'm not really used to working with such saturated colors, and especially not bright green. So my basic concept for this drawing was to draw a bioluminescent mushroom kind of dancing around with a bunch of small bioluminescent mushrooms. And I typically like to work with very muted colors and give my drawings a sort of all feel to them. And I didn't want to give up that aesthetic entirely but that turned out to be quite a struggle. I ended up reworking my approach to the colors so many times, but in the end, I'm glad that I didn't just go with my first idea. So with that little introduction done, I would just like to share my top five tips on how to work outside your own comfort zone. My first tip would just be a very simple one. Do studies. If you're trying to draw something that you've never drawn before, looking up a couple of references and studying them before making a big advanced piece can be a massive help. It doesn't have to be like a perfectly rendered, realistic 20 hour drawing, but just making some quick sketches and maybe some light and shadow studies can make a big difference. I actually sometimes like drawing the same picture multiple times so that I can go over the things that I don't like and try to improve them while they're still fresh in my mind. I know that might seem tedious and like a lot of work to some people, but it's really my preferred method. And I think that the key here is just to find what works for you personally. Does drawing uh, the same thing over and over kill your motivation, then don't. All I know is that making yourself familiar with the things that you are trying to draw can really help, even if you use heavy stylization in your work. My second tip would be don't be afraid to start over. A few years back, I took graphic design in college and for one of my classes, I had this really strict teacher that would make us redraw uh, things that we did if we made uh, mistakes. So uh, essentially, his motto was, you'll be quicker the second time. And in the beginning, I was just terrified whenever he walked by my desk because I didn't just want to go back um, and redo things that I already had done. But in retrospect, this has really changed my approach to my creative process. If nothing I do work out, sometimes it's just easier to start over. That doesn't mean that the first drawing was a failure. It's still a valuable part of the process. And it might have made you realize something that you wouldn't have if you had just kept erasing and redrawing over the same sketch. And you will probably avoid making the same mistake that you did the first time because it's fresh in your mind and you will know what to avoid from the beginning. And that is why it will be a much faster process because you just know what you're doing in a way that you didn't before. And of course, if there are certain parts to a piece that you are happy with, it's perfectly fine to just rework the parts that you don't like. My third tip is to ask yourself, why isn't this working? If you can identify what it is that you don't like with your drawing, you can use that as a tool to improve and move forward. 
I think learning about some basic art theory can be really helpful to figure out what works and what doesn't. Of course, art is subjective and it doesn't have to abide by any rules if you don't want it to, but it can still be really nice to just know how to view your own work from a technical standpoint. I think most artists have some sort of emotional attachment to their own work, and sometimes it can be nice to just analyze it based upon theoretical stuff rather than just saying that it's bad or ugly. Shapes, color, values, composition, and a lot of other things all work together to create a picture. And if you know what is generally considered to be pleasing or what you consider to be pleasing, it can be easier to find ways to improve. Try telling yourself uh, things like the composition is dynamic but the values are weak or the anatomy of the face looks natural but the gesture of the figure is stiff and uh, you know try to incorporate more neutral words in the way that you describe your art instead of saying things like it's ugly or good or bad or pretty um, and just see what it does to the way that you view your own art number four is try to be patient for this particular drawing, I think I really just wanted to add a few color dodge layers and get an instant cool glow effect, and that really just backfired. Uh, of course, there are a lot of things that you can do to speed up your process, uh, but this time looking for shortcuts just really gave me a harder time. I wasn't really paying attention to the form of my mushroom character when trying to add light to it, and I just splashed on some glowy effects in hopes that it would just pop, and I was absolutely not happy with the result. I decided to just go back and look at my references and start over with the colors. In the end, working up layers of luminescence and shadow and details just made the result a lot more pleasing to me. Finally, I would like to say that you shouldn't be afraid to ask for advice. When I feel lost, I always find that getting someone else to look at my drawing can help a lot. However, I know that this requires some confidence. Getting feedback on your work can be really scary, but it is one of the best ways to spot mistakes that actually impacts the overall appearance of your work. I think a lot of people find themselves obsessing over tiny mistakes and details that no one else is actually going to see, and it sometimes overshadows things that others might actually notice, like awkward anatomy, weak contrasts, or other things that make your painting hard to read. Remember that you're probably the only person who's going to stare at your own work as intensely as you for hours at end, and it will make you see things that others don't, but it will also make you miss things that someone who looks at your art for the first time will see. If you're really nervous about showing your work to others, flipping your canvas or holding your drawing upside down or in front of a mirror can help you see things in a new light. Looking at your work from a distance or zooming out can also make you determine whether or not it's easy to read. Viewing it in black and white can also help you see if you have enough contrasts in your drawing or painting. So these are some of my own tips for working outside your comfort zone, or just getting out of a slump or art block, or how to improve in general, I guess. I hope some of these tips can be helpful to you. Of course, I'm not trying to say that going outside of your comfort zone is something that you have to do in order to improve or be a good artist, but sometimes it can be fun to push yourself. And these are just my general thoughts on how to do that. So I hope that you can just have fun with it because at the end of the day, that is the most important thing, to just have fun and enjoy the process. What do you like to do when you feel stuck? Feel free to share your thoughts or uh, experiences in the comments. I'd love to get some new tips for myself as well. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye!